Archaeologists are always stumbling upon interesting and curious things. That's kind of the entire job description. But sometimes they simply don't understand the things that they find, even with all of their expertise. These are the 20 most mysterious archaeological finds. Number 20. Costa Rica Spheres We'll ease ourselves into this topic and won't talk about something overtly grand, but instead we'll talk about stone spheres. On a small island in Costa Rica, there are over 300 stone petrospheres, often referred to as the decay spheres. And what's so odd about these? Well, just look at their shape. You'll notice how all of them are perfectly spherical. That's not something that's supposed to happen in that amount. It can happen naturally though, but this amount of them have left people wondering exactly what was going on in Costa Rica a long time ago. And to be clear, these stones weren't naturally made. They were handcrafted by the extinct people of the area and are one of the earliest examples of stone sculptures in the area with these people. These spheres range in size from just a few centimeters to over two meters in diameter, though if you want to know why they made the spheres this way, nobody has a clue. What's more, they were actually lost to time for a while before being rediscovered in the 1930s, and then it restarted the mystery all over again. So why would they make the spheres like this? Well, it is possible that it was part of a ritual for something, but as to what nature, no one can honestly say. It could have been just a mark of a craftsman, and something that they did in various sizes to show their skills, but the fact that they made so many and with such varying sizes kind of means that it should have been intentional, even if that intention has been lost to time. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. An archaeologist discovered what no one was supposed to see. According to reports, this mummy was found in Iran. Iranians are claiming that the thing is 3,000 years old, but somehow maintains minimal decomposition and normal skin color. Very little is known about it, but what do you think? As always, comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let me know your opinion in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Cleopatra's Tomb From a tale of mysterious objects to a mystery that hasn't even come close to being solved, we'll talk about Cleopatra's Tomb. Cleopatra, if you somehow didn't know, is one of the most famous rulers in the history of Egypt, to the extent that her legend may have actually lied about who she actually was, because there is some controversy as to how beautiful she was or was not. But regardless, there are a lot of hard facts about Cleopatra, including how smart that she was, how capable she was as a leader, and of course the company that she kept, which included one of her lovers in Mark Anthony of Rome. Her and Anthony teamed up to fight a war, and eventually lost, Cleopatra would end up killing herself in order to escape the other Roman general that was hounding her, and what happened next? Well, that's a mystery that nobody can solve. According to the ancient texts, her and Mark Anthony were buried together in a mausoleum, but where that mausoleum is, no one has any idea. And trust me when I say that it's not for lack of trying. The discovery of Cleopatra's tomb would not only be a major find, but it would finally be able to, potentially at least, piece together the missing bits of history that we don't have surrounding what happened to her and Anthony. More than likely what occurred was that their loyal supporters took their bodies after death and then buried them in one spot while telling people that they were placed in a completely different one. That would throw their enemies into looking everywhere that they shouldn't instead of where they should. And in truth, that would be a very Cleopatra move to do, but we can't tell that to her face until we find her, that is, if we find her. Number 18. Chen Shi Huang 
From one tomb to another, we'll now look at a very interesting site in China via Qin Shi Huang's tomb. It's the burial place of the first sovereign emperor of the Qin dynasty from 221 to 207 BCE, who unified the empire, began construction of the Great Wall of China, and prepared for death by constructing a 20 square mile funerary compound, the treasures of which began to come to light only some 2100 years after his death. And it is within that complex that the mysterious have began to unfold. First and foremost, it was within this complex complex, that was eventually dug up in part, that revealed that the followers didn't just bury him with treasure, they also buried him with an army. Specifically, an army of terracotta warriors that were each made by hand and were all very unique. Thousands of these statues would be found there, though the exact reasons are a bit sketchy. It's believed that one reason is due to how his followers wanted him to have people to command in the afterlife. Remember, he was an emperor, but even still, why make that many? The other big get, if you will, is that the emperor himself. You see, while we've dug up most of his complex, we haven't gotten to the parts where he's actually buried, and whether or not we go into that is based on not only the techniques that will be used to keep things preserved, but the Chinese government as well. So we'll just have to wait and see what other treasures lie in wait with the emperor in the future. Number 17. Stonehenge now, I'd honestly be shocked if you didn't think that you'd see Stonehenge on this list. After all, it's one of the most heavily discussed and popular artifacts that's ever been found. What's more, it's above ground and isn't exactly trying to hide itself, so we've had time to study it. The key word there being study and not understand. Because even after all these years of research, we still have no clue about what Stonehenge is really all about. Why it was built in the way that it was, or how they were able to build it at all. Here's what we think that we do know, though. It was built over the course of about 1500 years, and starting about 5000 years ago. That there is the first mystery, because why would it take them so long to do this? and why continue it for so long. Now let's talk about the stones themselves. First and foremost, they're not all the same. There are blue stones, sandstone slabs, and more in there, each gotten from an area not where Stonehenge is laid. Some were even said to have come from 50 miles away. But why would they go so far to get the stones, and then how did they get them from one spot to the next? Finally, there's the construction element. It's believed that they went and used various tools and tricks to raise the stones, that weigh several tons in fact, to get them into position. How were they able to do this so precisely and without apparent damage to the other stones is quite the mystery. And of course, we can't forget about purpose. What was the purpose of Stonehenge? Well, some say it was a kind of calendar, others think it's a burial site, and the only people that truly know are the ones who built it. Number 16. Nazca Lines We head now from the top half of the world to the bottom half, where we're going to talk about the legendary and mysterious Nazca Lines. Ironically, this is one that's honestly a bit easier to explain. They would be made over 2,000 years ago in Peru by an ancient people. On the ground, you're not going to see anything but weird lines, but when you soar high above the skies, you'll see incredible creatures woven into the ground of mysterious intent and purpose. Speaking of these mysteries, there are two that are prevalent here. The first is, why make these creatures in the ground? Well, some say they were tributes to gods, and in media, they were stated to be actually captured entities just waiting to be released. The other mystery is how they were able to not only craft such things, 2,000 plus years ago, but they didn't have planes back then, or even hot air balloons. They did everything from the ground level and yet were able to not only make these designs, but to make them in grand scale and ensure that they wouldn't fade away over the course of time. Now if we were to try and replicate this today, it would take a lot of work, even with modern technology, and they did it back then without any of that. Fast forward to now, and they're still just as mysterious, and perhaps we'll never find out the true origins or meanings of them, so at the very least, they're pretty to look at. Number 15. The Great Pyramids 
One of the seven wonders of the world, the Great Pyramids of Giza aren't just a marvel of engineering, they're a mystery of it as well. But why? Well, on one hand, we do know why they were built. They were built for a pharaoh, several of them in fact. Each king would get their own place to be buried, and there they would be laid with their treasures. The mystery, though, comes in how they were built in ancient times. It's said to be built from 2575 to 2465 BCE, and that's a whole lot of time to put into a project. And even though it's a very important monument, everyone still wants to know how they got that monument to be built so precisely and perfectly. Thankfully, we do feel that we have some answers based on examinations of the pyramids and and the tools that they had at the time. For example, many believe that the large stones that were used and shaped for the pyramids were floated down the Nile River and then put onto a small river channel that would lead right to the pyramid itself, hence getting rid of the major travel issues. As for how they stacked it, well, many believe that the Egyptians used a kind of ramp system mixed with manpower in order to get things down. It would be a clever trick, if it were accurate, and there are some pieces of evidence to state that this could be the case. However, we still don't know everything, such as how they were able to craft the pyramids so perfectly, or even ensure that they lined up without a single thing out of place. Not to mention constructing it to ensure that there were passageways inside. It's an older mystery, but one that everyone still wants to figure out. Number 14. Shroud of Turin We'll now go to a bit more controversial of an artifact, the Shroud of Turin. This artifact is controversial not only because of what it is per se, but rather what people may think that it is. Mainly, some think that it's the shroud or burial cloth that was used to bury Jesus Christ. But whether that's actually the case becomes a bit tricky depending on who you ask. The earliest historical records of the Shroud of Turin place it in France during the 1350s. A French knight allegedly presented it to the dean of the church as Jesus' authentic burial shroud. Do you see why this is a problem? Well, yes, that's 1300 plus years after Jesus Christ was said to have been crucified, and yet it was finally found and presented as a gift. Around 1389, the Bishop of Troy, France, sent a report to the Pope claiming that an artist had confessed to forging the shroud, and thus the Pope himself, one of the most important religious figures in any age, declared it to be fake. But even with that blessing, many people still actually believe it to be real. Have scientists tried to date it, you may be asking? Well, the answer to that is yes, and in fact, three different tests have been conducted on the shroud. They do seem to indicate that it was a shroud that was used in crucifixion on a person, but not necessarily around the time when Jesus Christ was stated to have died. And yet, despite multiple things pointing to it being fake, some still do believe it to be real. Number 13. Gobekli Tepe now, if you don't know, Gobekli Tepe is actually Turkish for Potbelly Hill. But don't worry, I'm not going to be talking about that hill or certain potbellies that were found there. Rather, I'm talking about what's in the spot. In short, a structure was apparently made 6,000 years before Stonehenge in this place, putting it very likely to be 11,000 years ago in terms of its construction. That's a very significant thing given all the reasons by the mystery of Stonehenge. Oh, and did I mention that the structure itself is nearly 2,500 feet above sea level, nearly 1,000 feet in diameter? Because it is, and that just further adds to the mystery of how anyone was able to pull off something like that. At first, Gobekli Tepe was thought as nothing more than a cemetery due to its placement and the objects that were found there, but after investigating further, a series of pillars with ancient writings on them would later be discovered, showing that there was more just under the surface. And boy were they right about that. As for its purpose in Turkey, that's up for debate. The person who discovered the importance of it, Klaus Schmidt, believed that it was a sanctuary area, not the most unlikely of things giving ancient times and the beliefs that they likely would have had. In 2018, the site was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, thus making sure that it can't be tampered with very easily, which is sadly something that many historical sites have had to deal with. Number 12. Copper Scroll Treasure 
If you were to compile a list of some of the most important and significant treasure finds in the history of the world, one of them would without a doubt be the Dead Sea Scrolls. These are basically priceless artifacts that are said to be one of the first copies of the Christian Bible. But the twist here, and the mystery, lies in another scroll that was found alongside them, one that was not made of papyrus like the others of the Dead Sea Scrolls, it was actually made out of copper. This particular copper scroll would be discovered in 1952 in the caves at Qumran, and after dating it, was found to be 2,000 years old, thus lining up with it being part of the Dead Sea Scrolls. And here is where that fun twist comes in. Because I'll allow you to ask, what the scroll described in its text? Well, it was a treasure of some kind that the scroll itself is supposed to lead the reader to, but like a true treasure map, it doesn't pinpoint the location of the treasure itself, rather it gives clues over the course of time that have no doubt been overrun, changed, or are just completely gone. There's been a lot of speculation as to what the treasure was and where it honestly could still be if it hasn't been found already, but sadly nobody knows, but some are still itching to find out. Number 11. King Tut's Death And back to Egypt we go. You may notice that there are a lot of mysteries that surround Egypt, but now the discovery of King Tut's tomb was one of the most significant things in all of archaeology, and no, there was no curse on the tomb. They made that up to ward off grave robbers. Or did they? Actually, they did just wanted to scare you a bit. But while they did go and unearth a great many things, one of the biggest things they found was actually a mystery, specifically in how King Tut actually died. DNA tests and computerized tomography exams would show that he suffered from malaria, a fractured lower leg, and congenital deformities that were associated with inbreeding, which was common among Egyptian royalty. But did those things actually kill him? Well, scientists say likely not. And when you add in other mysteries about his burial, a lot of people are curious as to how this legendary pharaoh actually passed. Some believe that he was a victim of a chariot crash, some think that the answers do indeed lie within his DNA, and some go even farther to say that his history was erased from Egyptian lore in part so that no one would ever know the truth. Given how ancient Egypt treated their pharaohs as almost godlike, it's a true mystery why we don't know more about King Tut and how he passed. The answers are out there, we just don't exactly know where to look as of right now. Number 10. The Ark of the Covenant there are many religious artifacts that are believed to not only be proof of their gods, but a direct connection to those gods, regardless of what faith or pantheon you believe in. But arguably the most famous, and perhaps infamous, of these artifacts is that of the Ark of the Covenant. This entity, as noted in the Christian Old Testament many times, was said to be the physical manifestation of God and thus was to be treated with reverence at all times. In fact, one person was said to have actually touched the ark in order to stop it from hitting the ground and then they dropped dead as a result. Only the most holy of priests were able to gaze inside of it and that was after undergoing many, many rituals to cleanse himself and even then it was only done once a year. So given all of the texts and lore that surrounds this item, here we have to ask the obvious question. Where is the Ark of the Covenant right now? Nobody knows for sure. The prominent theory ties back to one of the sons of King Solomon, but we have no proof that he truly ever had it or took it where it was stated to be. So thus, one of the most important religious artifacts is actually lost. But we need to find this thing. We need to get our top men on this. Who, you may ask? Well, how about Indiana Jones? Number 9. Voynich Manuscript And now we're going to delve into something a little bit weird. The Voynich Manuscript is yet another ancient text that's shrouded in mystery, but the reason that it's in mystery is twofold. The first is that it's a codex, you know, something that needs to be translated. But what it all says and means is actually a mystery that's been lost to time because the man who created it not only did it by hand, he never explained to anyone how to read it. How not thoughtful at all.
The book itself would actually be discovered in 1912 in Poland and was guessed to have been written by a man in the 15th century. However, that doesn't really help anyone read the bloody thing, now does it? What's more, there are also hand-drawn pictures in the manuscript, but they are, well, of really weirdly proportioned naked women, amongst other things. So was this guy just high out of his mind as he drew and wrote this stuff? Well, maybe. That's something that can't actually be disproven. Number 8. Antikythera Mechanism Going back now, at least somewhat rationally, we have the Antikythera Mechanism, which has been described by many to be a kind of ancient computer. And I mean like beyond the 1900s, as this thing was found in 200 BCE near Greece. So yeah, that's very far from where and when the first true computer was made. Now, to be clear, so there's no confusion, no, this was not an electronic device. Rather, it was what you would call an analog computer one that would be used to determine various things while at sea without needing the electronics to do it for you. Oh, and did I mention that it was found in a shipwreck that bore part of the name of the device? Because it was. In terms of function, it was used to help trace the positions of stars as well as determine the next solar or lunar eclipse. So where's the mystery then, you may ask? Well, how would they know how to make such a device and be so accurate with what it could do? The Greeks were good, but they shouldn't have been that good. Number 7. Disappearance of the Zhangzheng Du Without a doubt, one of the biggest mysteries of our world is that of what happened to a certain ancient culture who, by all logic and reason, should have left more clues as to what happened to them. The Mayans and the Incans are both great examples of this, and also among them are an ancient Chinese people known as the Zhangzhengdu. The Zhangzhengdu have been rediscovered in part in the last 100 years, and were believed to have resided in a walled city on the banks of the Mingjiang River. And when we say walled city, I don't really mean a small one, but a vast one that had loads of treasures and such. But then, about 3,000 years ago, they simply vanished. But why? The current belief is that either a natural disaster took them out and hurt them enough to make them leave the walled city, or they were actually forced out by war. Either way, it's definitely a curious thing as to how a civilization went from living large inside of a walled city to leaving everything that they had behind. Number 6. Noah's Ark now, if you've been enjoying our looks into religious history, that's good, because I've got yet another one for you. In the Christian Bible, Noah was a man who was tasked by God to build an ark that would survive the flooding of the entire world. He would take with him his family and then two of each creature to stay within the ark for 40 days and 40 nights, only leaving when a dove came and presented a piece of greenery signifying that they were safe to leave. It's a story that's been told and retold many times throughout pop culture, but everyone asks, where's the ark now? Well, depending on who you believe, it's actually all over the place. There have been many places and teams that have claimed to have found Noah's ark in Turkey, Iran, and even more, and many dispute this, and thus the mystery simply continues. Number 5. Where are the Mayans? Now, as noted a short time ago, there are some cultures that mysteriously vanished from the world, and we've no idea what actually happened to them. Easily the biggest of these mysteries is that of the Mayan culture. From between 1800 BC to about 900 AD, the Mayans not only existed, but actually thrived. You could find them in various places between Mexico, Central America, and South America, and if you fast forward to now, you'll see all of their wondrous constructions. But what you will not find is a clue as to why the great Mayan populace abandoned everything they made. Some believe that it was because of resources, others thought that it was because of war, but the result is still the same. The Mayans left their homes, their empire, and were then never seen again. And nobody has any idea as to what caused that exodus. Number 4. The Kat Shabib 
The Katcha Bib is a mysterious linear stone feature that runs for 150 kilometers across southern Jordan. It was first recorded overhead during 1948, and people have been mystified by it ever since. Also known as Shabib's Wall, it's believed that this mile-long wall was used not only for protection, but to ensure that the herds of the shepherds in the area didn't lose their flock when they wandered off too far. There is still, however, some mystery to be solved, including how the wall was built and why it was built so long ago, not in certain other parts of Jordan. According to regional researchers, the wall is the planet's second longest wall after the world's famous Great Wall of China. Number 3. Kukno Stone Back in 2015, a stone slab known as the Kukno Stone was unearthed and it would send the archaeological field into a tizzy not only to get it out, but actually to study it. Apparently, this stone was made over 5,000 years ago, but as to why it was made is your guess as good as mine. What's more, it was then reburied in 1965, apparently to protect it from harm. It's a bit drastic, but we all applaud the effort in the very least. Some argue that it was an example of Neolithic graffiti, and thus they wanted to examine the art further. Plus, it also goes to reason that if there's one slab like this, there should be others, right? Number 2. Superhenge Yes, I've shown you Stonehenge, I've shown a higher up Stonehenge, but now I present to you Superhenge. How super is this hinge? Well, it's about 15 times the size of Stonehenge and only two miles away from where Stonehenge is right now. Does that tickle your fancy? It would be rediscovered, as obviously it was there before and nobody knew about it, back in 2015. And the moment that it was found, people thought that we might need to rewrite everything that we knew about Stonehenge in general. Now to be clear, Superhenge is not the same in looks or form as Stonehenge, but it's still a large stone monument that nobody can explain how it got there or its purpose as well. And so thus, it remains a mystery. Number 1. Underwater Cairn a mysterious circular structure with a diameter greater than the length of a Boeing 747 jet would be discovered, submerged about 30 feet underneath the Sea of Galilee in Israel back in 2013. It's also about 10 feet tall and weighs somewhere around 60,000 tons, but aside from that and its basalt rock composition, nobody honestly knows much about it. Most agree that it was formed when the lake wasn't actually there, but there's still a lot that nobody knows, such as when that that even was. The best estimate puts it about 2,000 to 12,000 years old in age, but obviously that's not exact. Some people even think that it was an ancient structure of some kind, but again, to what end? Oh, and to top the mystery off, they weren't looking for it when they found it. They were doing sonar on the lake and just bumped into it. That's all from the realm of archaeology and what we've not fully been able to understand yet. Do you think that some of these mysteries and finds will eventually be fully understood or explained? And which of them, or the objects involved, fascinates you the most? Do you know of another item that's mysterious that could be found on our list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments below. Check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.